All right, let's see how we can move this progress bar over here. So we start with this texture and in this case it's transparent and we have this bar on the bottom. I created a material for this example here. And when you create your material, you select a material domain, you will choose user interface here in the bottom. And here you'll see the texture. What we do after that is we create a lerp node. So we basically mm, interpolating two inputs. And when I put it to zero, it will be blue. And I'm feeding the alpha into the opacity here. At the moment, this lerp is not very useful. We, we want to create a mask that goes from left side to the right side based on our input. And that's what we create with this mask over here. So for the mask, we start with the texture coordinates and we have to make a material parameter collection. And we already created here. You, what you can do is right click on material and you have here the material parameter collection. So we need, in this case, one scalar parameter and set it to progress and it's just a scalar value, which updates later in this video. And to call the uh, collection, we right click parameter collection and we find it and we choose progress. In this example, we have 10 checkpoints. So we're gonna remap the values that are coming in, which are the checkpoints, zero to 10, and we convert it to zero to one because we want to uh, uh, offset the texture coordinates a full cycle. So what you can see when I slide this over, something is happening, right? <laughs> And after that, we create this seal node to get rid of the gradients. And we mask only for the R channel. And that's creating this mask over here. So you can create your own reroute nodes with uh, add named reroute and give it a name. And you it will uh, end up in this list here. So when I get rid of the preview here and I slide the material parameter collection over here, you see it shifts. It updates based on my input. So zero is the beginning and 10 is the end. So when you're using UIs, you create this widget, which is in the user interface. And you just uh, add it here. In this example, I will use a mesh. And to make this work, we will create a level sequence. You click on track, you can add a material parameter collection and this is the example here and um, it will load up here. And you can, you will see all your parameters here. So what I did is I put our 10 checkpoints here and you will see it will update here. And to make this work in our game, we will use Verse um, to control where we are in the sequencer. So this is the basic code in Verse. We call this function every time we hit a, a trigger or a mutator zone, we call it and we play the sequence for one second and we pause it. And we, play, we call the function again and it goes to a second. second. <laughs> so we can create this uh, to reset it whenever we want to. And it will go back to zero. So I hope this is helpful for some and I'll see you in the next video.